Thank you. Thank you, Morgan. That was wonderful. Hi, everyone. Can we get all the wonderful work we're doing? We need an applause for that so far. Come on, come on, come on. So, greetings, everyone. Um, it's been a pleasure to join the 67th Precinct Clergy Council as the coordinator for the Partners Against the Hate Initiative. Um, we were graciously chosen as an anchor organization in the Partners Against the Hate Forward Initiative under the Mayor's Office for Hate, Crime, and Prevention. Um, we were fortunate to be able to lead the city in combating hate and bias incidents in the black community. And we have recognized that hate is pervasive and it institutionally, structurally, and interpersonally affects the black community. So we have strategically aligned our community-based approach to addressing these hate and bias incidents. So as you can see, I know our theme is the numbers, so we're gonna bore y'all with some numbers, but put some context in there. Um, so the FBI reported that in 2020, 8,562 single-based bias incidents occurred with 11,126 victims being affected. And this is growing, this is growing numbers as we can see in the news recently. More than 62% of those single bias incidents were bias motivated incidents because of race, ancestry, and ethnicity, while more than them, or 13%, was because of someone's religion. Within New York State, there have been a 100% increase in overall hate crimes. Yes, 100%. And I know the narrative, as we can see, there's a lot of anti-Asian, anti-Jewish, but because the black community hate and bias is not really associated with us, we often assume that we're not affected by these incidents, but we are. So with a substantial national increase in anti-black hate incidents, there's a growing concern of factors that contribute to the tolerance of race-based motivated incidents. For instance, the lack of educational awareness, services to report bias incidents, community safety engagement, and many other components that enhance hate prevention. Along with our efforts, we have sub-partnered with seven other citywide organizations that have joined the fight to alleviate the rise of black hate throughout the city. Our sub-partners have dedicated training, programs, and events to bring awareness and provide hate bias prevention services to those in our community. In Alliance, we have been able to conduct and participate in over 60 plus events across the city, provide resources and services to more than 10,000 people, and continue to foster our holistic approach to preventing hate and bias incidents. Our town hall, thank you for those who attended by the way, on hate, bias, and discrimination in the black community, brought to light and awareness the underreporting of black hate incidents, the impact of hate and bias in the community, and hate bias victim services and cultural awareness competency, and much more needed dialogue by a distinguished panel from the NYPD Hate Crime Task Force, the Mayor's Office for Prevention of Hate, the Black Institute, Brooklyn District Attorney's Office, and the New York City Human Rights Commission, and much more. So thank you all again for those of you who attended, and you could definitely stream it on our YouTube page, by the way, for those who missed it. And if you missed it, please come see me after, I need to talk to you. Um, <laughs> so some work from our sub-partners also include programs about black men in the police, and workplace discrimination to increase public awareness and create opportunity for people to know how to intervene and reject hate and bias incidents. So, Unity Walks, a collective unified mobilization of people from across all backgrounds, done by our very own Reverend Terry Lee, and immigrants responding to crisis. And we have also been able to distribute surveys and data reporting by the Black Institute and so much more of our sub-partners organizations that bring light to the many different incidents that um, us in the Black community that we face each and every day that goes underreported and under notice as well. So with more than $150,000 have been dis distributed to our sub-partners to support our joint efforts to combat hate. With that funding, we have been able to provide resources, services, and conduct community events that have gone on to more than 10,000 people. 
Most notably, we have delivered over 300 of our PATH resource boxes filled with resources and goodies to educate the community on what can be done to end hate in our community. <laughs> we are, and still are, committed to continuing to stand up against hate and will encourage organizations, congregations, and every single one of you to continue to support us in promoting our efforts to create a more just society. Thank you all again and thank you for your support.